Uh, I, I have definitely um, have contacted him a little bit about the idea. Uh, we really want to try to work with the nonprofit organizations and, and really, you know, help them promote what they're doing. You know, if if we have kind of this, you know, marketing aspect where you're helping me, we're going to help your nonprofit and really give back to you and the community. I mean, I think that's a great way to. And don't forget about the docs who actually write the scripts are now highly more viable than they've ever been. You know, what happened in the yeah. Wild West aspect from the beginning to now, you lend more credibility there to what you can say. The sensory can be like, we're certified because we've got this software. You can go there. That's big stuff. All right, so who's development? You got two, okay, so you got like seven people on your team and you guys got two development? You guys need to like re fit your yeah. I'm serious. You guys yeah. should go home tonight and start coding and it's huge, but you have you're on a huge, hugely short queues. So get on it. You should have a, you should have a prototype in a week. And hire her to do your front end. What's your technology? Well, yeah. hey, what's your technology? And you're not taking well, on designer either, so screw you. Just to get up so we can have something clickable. But so. what we're going to do is uh, probably host in the cloud something like Azure. Probably because we can go PHP and Azure or .NET back end, flex, flash, HTML5 front end. It's no big deal. I okay. just want to make a comment about what Nicole is saying that you guys scale. did well that I'm noticing. I'm trying to tweet. And I, you guys don't have your Twitter handles. You I don't mean, have your, no, you guys do. You rock. <laughs> a lot of the companies here, I'm just letting you know from business development, social media, all that stuff. Branding. You talk about going viral. You don't have Twitter handles. Do you have Facebook pages? Get that right away. They did it right, so that means they can do exactly what Nicole is saying. I've just been watching it all night. Just wait a second. And by the way, I heard you guys before I even came yeah. to here, so I was looking forward to seeing you. Guys. So you guys did well on the marketing How's front there. That beard? <laughs> sure, so I happen to have relationships both at Kleiner Perkins and the support. Tell me, do you want to come forward a little bit? Yeah, sure. speak, I mean, yeah. speak up, please. I, have, I, I happen to have relationships both at Kleiner Perkins and at Sequoia. And with respect to, uh, I, I don't know their name, she was talking about like, your, the revenue projections that you were throwing out there that weren't exciting. I would not worry about that one bit. One, because the VC firms, at least the ones that I've talked to, and they're kind of top of the food chain. They're not interested in this space because the people who are behind their funds, they consider it too risky, it's something they don't want to be associated with. It just it doesn't fit along with the conservative principles of the people who are behind their money. So that's not to speak for all VC firms, obviously. But I think that with respect to the money that's there that everyone knows is there, I don't I think VCs should be something that I would rarely say this, but it should be more than yeah, yeah, totally. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So, the other thing to tack on to that, go to California that has a market that's ten years old and ten times the size. There's your revenue project. Back in Canada. And Canada. Canada. Yes. Um, this is a little more of curiosity slash suggestion, but as far as, figuring, as, as far as figuring out how to brand <laughs> your product and what features you might want to have in your software, have you guys looked into some of the Dutch software companies? Because, I mean, it's been legal there for a really long time, and it's not there's not the hype around it anymore. There's got to be software companies over there that are doing this, and of course the laws are going to be slightly different. But they probably have figured out the nice mix of branding and marketing and keeping it professional. Have you been to Amsterdam? Oh, yeah. There is no system. Yeah. If you want to see branding and keeping it professional, look at the four <coughs> countries in both of them. Yeah. They're the biggest ones in the nation. Yeah. So well, professional. You guys got to look into like nurseries too, right? You've probably done that. Flowers. Right. You just got to look at the basic. You've got some other things on top of it. The law is that you have to grow. 70% of your own product if you're a distribution center, and 30% can be actually outsourced. So, I mean, I got something back up that. Those, the, the, the distribution right. centers is they kind of the way they look at I mean, they do hold, you know, 70% of the market, but uh, we are looking at, you know, just straight growers and caretakers. You should so, be. So, spending the last 10 years in healthcare technology, one of the biggest forces of attrition and resistance to what you're going to do is regulation. And at any given time, regulation in the lobbyist wing can bear down on you, and another group can come in over top of you with lobbyists, and before you know it, regulations are on your ass, and you're in the grave. That's, 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 I mean, we did talk about that this weekend as far as being proactive with, you know, uh, you know lobbyists and, and, you know, politicians. Yeah, I was going to say your budget needs a line specific 
specifically for I mean, it was hard to communicate with them this weekend, but we already have calls into them to set up meetings, sort of I mean, brainstorm with them in the lobby groups. The important part is this. We're trying to take this kind of negative market and bring it more to a positive business model. And one way to do that is get the legislation online first and foremost, let them know what you're doing. Because in most cases, it's better to ask for forgiveness than permission. In this case, it's more rewarding to get permission first and make sure they're on board. Because, I mean, I've been in the financial industry, and they'll shut you down and stuff like that. And I'm sure it's this place thing, is it's a thing ten times healthcare. worse. Technology yeah. could take healthcare miles farther than it is today. Yeah. But there is resistance that is not driven by the market. It's driven by special interests. Exactly. In exactly. your case, you know what? Your technology isn't... isn't uh, isn't crazy ass or anything like that. You're not looking at huge scale. Don't worry about huge scale. You should be able to get this out to market within a month. I seriously, seriously can tell you you should be able to do that. So does that mean I have to drop out of school? <laughs> no. Well, I don't know what you got to drop out of. That's not my problem. Yeah, so uh, sit down with an investor. They have got a ton of money. Uh, how are you going to alleviate fear that is just common with getting involved in a product like that? Well, we don't need a ton of money. Yeah, we'd really like to money. I'm, just, I'm talking about the fear. No, I'm talking about the fear. And like a good way is like when this regulation hits the summer, right? A lot of the institutions who are kind of doing stuff the way that's not a common practice and kind of I say low lies, but they're just doing it poorly and legally, they're going to be weeded out. So all of a sudden, you're going to have these prime businesses that want to grow. We're there to en enhance them, so in turn, we're hopefully enhancing the market as well. So we want to be a part on the upswing of the market, kind of that change, first and foremost, and you have kind of the negative aspects slowly but surely being weeded out. And I mean, during this entire process, we're going to separate ourselves from that. You're in essence playing both sides of the game. You're, you're, you're endearing yourselves to the, to the dispensaries and saying, we're going to help you be compliant because they don't want to be shut down. And you're endearing yourselves to the regulators because who wants to walk into a mess of an audit situation that has been four weeks trying to figure out what a pothead's books look like. So you're pretty much, you know, standardizing this audit system for them and keeping people busy. One of you got to become a lobbyer. You just got to yeah. learn how to lobby. I'm a pretty good talker. You guys will need to think real serious about, like, who's got being a spokesperson. And the persona, like, who's doing what. Like, you've got some uh, impression management. Yeah. You guys have to play the game. You have to play the game. Exactly. Of course. You know, right? we, we know that. We are going to play the game, and that's good. We are, essentially. I mean, we're playing it by... You guys should stop talking and just build. Yeah, you guys are going to make a billion dollars, honestly.